and he's behaving and had one arm around Parvati. He's behaving so affectionately in front of others. And he, when he said this, there was silence. There was no comment. And then he became a little perturbed that no one was also agreeing with him. And so Parvati, the consort of Lord Shiva, was very angry that he had disrespected her pati. So she cursed him, you will become a demon. So Vrityasura, um, excuse me, Kshitaketu Maharaj, he accepted this. He could have counteracted it, but he decided to accept this curse because of his devotion and uh, being fixed on Supreme Lord and devotion to the Supreme Lord. <clears throat> so he came in his next birth as Rajasura. By the way, please forgive any of uh, my mistakes in this endeavor. And if I say anything uh, of worth, it's due to the mercy of Guru. <clears throat> so, Amongst the demigods, there was one priest by the name of Vishvaru, and he was performing the yagyas. He was the son of a Brahmin, but by the father, but his mother, I believe, was an Asura. So, in his oblations, in his fire yagya, he was offering so much. Uh, respect to the demigods. Uh, and simultaneously, secretly, he was offering oblations to the demons. So, but it, it wasn't, it was only known to Indra, the king of the demigods. Indra knew this, that secretly he was offering some of the oblations to the demons, and he thought, wow. If the demons get some share of this sacrifice, this jaga, they'll become more powerful. And he was fearful of that. So Vishwaru had three heads. In the heavenly planets, one of those heads was accustomed to drinking somaras. The other one was accustomed to drinking wine and alcoholic beverages. There's oceans of liquor in the heavenly planets, some of the heavenly planets. <clears throat> rivers of mango juice, etc. With his other hand, he took so much food stuffs. So, <laughs> so Indra, fearing that uh, Vishwaru would cause the demons to have some power, cut off his three heads, severed them from his body. So the father of Vishwaru was very disturbed and he decided to uh, do something to avenge the death of his son and try to get back at Lord Indra. So he performed a yagya also. By the way, Kamaistashtarhitgyana Prabhajitai Nadyevita those who with material desires surrender to the demigods. The worship of the demigods is very popular in modern Hinduism because the demigods can give you so many benedictions huh? of uh, wealthy and beautiful or handsome spouse, uh, good uh, uh, education, etc., etc., and maybe elevation to a higher planets. But those with intelligence, especially in this age of Kali, Krishna Varnam Trisha Krishnam, Sangha Pankash Parshadam, Yagyar Sankitan Brayar Yajantehi Sumerasha, those with sufficient intelligence, especially in this age of Kali, the demigods are playing, praying to take birth in this age of Kali to have the association of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Sankirtan movement, chanting the holy names. So devotees aren't interested in elevation to heavenly planets uh, and having a life for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. 
if they're interested, as by the talk tonight, in uh, it's better, as Ambarish Maharaj Shamarani spoke about, it's better to be in hell and have bhakti than to be in a heavenly planet without bhakti. So the, we should understand that there's first class intelligence is learning by hearing. Second class is what intelligence means, okay, you don't hear, the mother tells the child, don't touch that, it's hot, it'll burn you. And maybe the child will learn after he gets burned not to touch it. Third class intelligence means that even after hearing you don't do it, even after experiencing you don't do it, and so you repeatedly commit the mistake of uh, suffering like that. So, when the father of Vishrup was performing this jagya, his name was just Twasta. Twasta. He was chanting the mantras too, but he mispronounced the mantra. He wanted to get a demon that would kill Indra, but he got a demon that was the enemy of all of the demigods. This was Vritrasura. So, <clears throat> Vritrasura was very, very powerful. He was very uh, fierce. And I forget the different descriptions of his form. But if I was closer, I would have uh, Maharaj roar when he's fighting with the demons. <clears throat> so he engaged in battle with the demons because it, um, uh, Indra was very fearful. So he fought very, very fiercely with the demons. Uh, and so many demons Excuse me, so many, did I, I didn't say that right. He was fighting with the demigods. So, Richard Sura, many of the uh, demigods completely were uh, battled, baffled by his prowess. And they gave up the battle. Like that? So, so, but ultimately, Indra began fighting with Ritrasura alone. And this uh, went on for some time. At first, Ritrasura, Indra has a very powerful weapon. Uh, no, that wasn't right. But he, he knocked his club from from Indra. Indra, the demigods play, prayed during this battle and the Supreme Lord manifested before them and told them that the only way they would be able to kill Vritasura was to take the bones of a very powerful sage named Dadichi. Thank you. He was so powerful that, and he will voluntarily gave up his body. was not com was completely unattached to his body. He gave up his body, and his bones were used to then produce a powerful thunderbolt, which Indra also had. So, Indra also was able to cut off one of the arms of Ritasura. At one point, Vichasura, because remember, he's he's actually very, uh, he is a disciple of Narada Muni in a, pre, in a previous verse of, as Chitraketu. He began praying to the Supreme Lord. So many wonderful prayers about uh, the existence of this material world and attachments that can bind one in the material world. And the necessity of giving up the attachment so that one can attain the goal of the human form of life and attain the entrance into the spiritual realm. Thank you. you explain the three or four strokes what he prayed. 
सन्नम बस तराजुधारता प्रियम प्रिये भूषितम विसन्ना मनोरबिंदास दिदीक स्वते त्वाम अजात पक्षा ईव मातरम खजा देवी पार्श लिविंग इन नेस्ट so that time they cannot eat, but their parents collecting some foods and giving them. In this way they are waiting when my parents will come and give me food. In this way they have attachment to move, move to their parents. So I want this mood, like separation mood. Always I am watching you when you are coming, but. He was satisfied. He told again, like one cow, one cow mother, mother, she has gone grazing grasses so all day past. But cows, always waiting for her when mother will come. When mother came, at that time he wants to go there. That time find him by the roof. Anyone come in and open this roof, uh, roof. but that time, so he is going to mother. He has attachment to mothers. Also priyam priyeva visitam bhusitam visanna. Here have called in this way they are going, they have attachment. But priyam priyeva bhusitam visanna. One priya beloved her, she has love and affection to beloved. There is no any cause. Life after life. In this life, any time, leave him together. If separation, then cannot live, dying. Already, always, if beloved going far away, at that time, always thinking for him, oh, what is doing, where is living, how is eating, how is, uh, what is working, any kind, always thinking for him. So same way, I can remember you. So please give me Priya Priyata mood. This is called Priya Priyata mood, beloved, beloved mood. Also in Srimad Bhagavata. Sri Sukhdev Goswami spoke, Srimad Bhagavata is famous. We are here. How can I understand Srimad Bhagavata? This book is Bhagavata. So we are here, Vitrasu story and Narayan Kavaj. This is called Bhagavata. So here, very famous because Vitrasur was demon. And he prayed Priya Priyata mood, beloved, beloved mood to Sri Krishna. Oh God, oh Sri Krishna was supreme, please give me this mood, this separation mood. He wants to go there and serve to Sri Krishna. Then again he prayed, Mamuttama Sloka Sushakham Sansar Chakre Brahmata Sakarmabhi Tanmaya Atma Jatarage Asakta Chitta Sananatha Bhuya तम श्लोक जनी सुशक्कम वो प्रभु वो माइडियर वो सुप्रीम लॉर्ड आई एम प्रेइंग यू लाइव आफ्टर लाइव व्हेयर आई एम गोइंग आई एम गोइंग एनी लाइव आई कैन गेट साधु या सुशील योर योर नियरेस्ट सो मामूत तम श्लोक जनी सुशक्कम प्योर ड्यूटी आई कैन गेट देयर एसोसिएशन and all the time I can hear their pure katha and I can serve to sadhu and getting sadhu associations I can live with sadhu then why atma yadara ye every year have ignorance all are maya so there are too much attachment in bodily in body, mind, heart so material happiness, in this way we have attachment. Oh, she is my wife, they are my children, my house, my land. 
too many etc. things. But I don't want this attachment in family in India. So please give me this bhakti mood. I can get sadhu association. In this way, Vidrasur prayed to God. Then Devra Indra was very surprised. Well, what happened here? He is demon, but he has pure bhakti. But I have no bhakti. I am demigod. Also, I am king, but I have no bhakti. That time he don't take, did not want to kill him. But again, Vitrasu told, oh, you can kill me. So you have thunderbolt, so you can bring, you brought here. This, by this thunderbolt, you can kill me, so I am going to Lord place. So, Sri Krishna's place. So I don't want to stay in this body because sadhu is not coming. I cannot get any sadhu association. In this way, he prayed. After then, when Indra killed to Vitrasu, but long time passed, one year he he cut his neck. So after then, Vitrasu was Vaishnav. But Devraj Indra killed to Vitrasu. In this way, then sins come again. Brahma Hatta and Vaishnav Hatta sins. At that time, so he was afraid, then he ran away. Then he, he was hiding in Manasarovar in Kailas, Manasarovar, big lake, Manas lake. Then he is hiding in Lotus land. Ten thousand years past, hungry, fasting already, and not sleeping, not eating. In this way, he passed his time. So after then, demigods called him. So in this way, Sisudev Goswami spoke. Sudev Goswami spoke, Harinam is very easy, God's mercy, and anyone chanting Harinam, and Narayan name Krishna, Govinda, Murari, Mukunda, Madhusudan, then all things, everything going us, going away. But there are, should be very careful, Sadhu Ninda, Guru Avakya. Neglect to Guru, avoid to Guru De. Then Devraj Indra before ever to Brihaspati. In this way, in his life, so big, big problems come. And he did fasting and leave him not sleeping, nothing. In this way, he, his life gone. So very careful from others. In this way, spoke this story. Also, Vitrasu, he went, Bhagavad Lup, he pure devotee. Before he was Sita Ketu First Shlok, he prayed that his, his mind should always remember Supreme Lord, Krishna. By hand say you can, and by then glorify. In the last shlok, same thing. Priya 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 Vishuddham Vishanna. He was not satisfied by giving the example of Ajat Pakshai. Because the birds, baby birds, want their mother something to eat and fear we go. And he rejected then. Second, cough. Cough example he rejected because the cough wants for him of oh, milk of mother. And he cries for that. And in third example, Priya Priya Vishtam Vishanna. If most beloved has gone anywhere and there is separation no. What she will do? <coughs> she will remember, always remember him. And he will glorify his son and daughters, <coughs> their father's glory. <coughs> and when he will come, oh, by then he will serve him in all respect. So third he wanted. 
I, I will be very happy. Today we are giving Visham rest to Harikatha. I will be very happy. <coughs> that you know that I have written more than 100 books. Some are translated. Some are not even. So, 78 in English also. What I want? What I want? That this book should be distributed. This is a limbs of preaching. <coughs> Swami did, did Bhakti Ved, Srila Swami Bhakti Vedan, Swami Maharaj, he preached by book distribution with all disciples and lady devotees. All were engaged in this. So I request you, there is a book table here. You should collect books as much as you can and distribute to others. I want that book, this book table should be empty. Yeah. In a two or two. <laughs> so I request you to help me in this teaching. Also, Shri Gurudev has some of you may be just for the first time here, but Shri Gurudev has toured around the world 30 times. He has spoken everywhere in the world, beautiful Harikata, at the time of Brajamandal, Gaudamandal Parikrama, so many wonderful lectures Shri Gurudev has given, darshans. Also, much has been uh, recorded by video. There are 3,000 lectures on MP3 available for you since the beginning of Srila Gurudev's travels. 1,000 video uh, movies are available. This is a complete set which is available also at the book table. Srimad Isha Prabhu has worked tirelessly to prepare this for you. You can obtain this set for cost price which is only $150. You can buy the complete set and this way you will always be swimming and sinking and drowning in Srila Gurudev's Harikata. Srila Gurudev surprised me. Um, he said to my sister Radha, I got a phone call just an hour ago, or an hour and a half, that I'm supposed to make an announcement. So please, uh, uh, I'll hold it by my mouth. <laughs> so I'd like to share something with you. In Shastra, it says, in order to obtain uh, bhakti for Krishna, uh, there's, there's a little recipe. And this recipe is, one must first have bhakti for guru. Um, I'm learning this uh, or step by step. Gurudev's doing a lot of surgery. So one, how does one develop this? We're still learning and learning. Is everybody remain seated? Gurudev will be back in two minutes. Yeah. And that is by... Don't worry, we will come back. <laughs> <laughs> one develops bhakti for guru by loving those things that guru loves. So I was thinking, well, what does Gurudev love? First thing that came to my mind, oh, I know he loves Hawaii. <laughs> I know he loves the Philippines, Malaysia, Rishikesh. But why does he love these places? Why does he love these places? Because these are the places where he's writing. These are the places he spends nine months out of the year writing his books, his expansion, presenting and preserving the message of our Acharyas. This is very special. This is where Gurudev's love is. So if we want to develop bhakti for guru, 
We should love like he loves his literatures. So, we're going to give you all an opportunity to participate in a secret recipe. And there's three ways you're going to be able to participate. We're going to make it really easy for everybody to participate. The first way is, is simply just go to the back of the book table, purchase not just one book, but several books for yourself and your friends and family. And if you, and if you purchase books, $75 and more, we're going to give you an opportunity to participate in a raffle, a simple raffle, to win Maha. This is Gurudev's writing, his corrections. This is his, a piece of Maha from his from the Shuman Bhagavatam, I think it is. Maha Prashad, where Gurudev is spending time in, I think, I don't know, in Hawaii this was from. This is part, this is part of Maha Prashad that will be offered, that you will have an opportunity to win. Also signed books from Gurudev and Maha Cup, a Maha Cup from Gurudev that he he uses. I still don't have that. I need to speak to Modern Raj about that one. <laughs> but don't worry. I promised, you'll get it. So that's the first way. The second way is we have a GVP book distribution program. You can find more information at the book table. This is a way that everybody could participate in book distribution. This is a way I could participate in book distribution. Basically, you give a donation, 501c3 nonprofit, you get a tax deductible receipt, and you will be able to sponsor books for book distribution around the world. China, India, Delhi, also in prison programs in America, all around the world, library programs, book racks. This is an opportunity where everybody can participate simply by small donations. If you want more information, you can visit the book table or visit gvpbookdistribution.com I hope the webcast got it gvpbookdistribution.com There are many devotees around the world watching this right now so. The third way is you simply and this is for the devotees that are watching this from Australia to Latin America to China and Europe you just visit bhaktistore.com and we are getting orders from around the world we got orders from South Africa, from Switzerland, from Jaiva Dharma, Bhagavad Gita. You simply go to bhaktistore.com, you could order yourself a book or order your friends a book. So these are the three ways everybody can participate in serving and loving those things that Gurudev loves, his books. Thank you very much. We have one more announcement. Regarding, regarding initiations tomorrow, <clears throat> again we're reminding the devotees that those who want to take initiation tomorrow from Srila Gurudev, they must come by 8.30 to the house where Srila Gurudev is staying at Sri Arun Varma's house and they should come uh, clean, showered with clean cloth, tilak, and with the offering of fruits, flowers, and, uh, and also Lakshmi donation and the male devotees should shave their heads and also if they haven't already registered for initiation they must submit their registration from the rec with the recommendation of a senior devotee that they know or who knows them and they must give this to Brajanath Prabhu or Shripad Madhav Maharaj. So at 8.30 tomorrow morning, the devotees should be there at the house of Srila Gurudev who will be taking first or second initiation. Okay, two s short announcements in relation with this. Double 1725, Taylor Crest, Bunker Village. Yeah, also tomorrow morning, some of the ladies, married couples, they have brought a baby and they've requested for grain ceremony. You can come tomorrow morning at 8.30, bring very liquid, not thick, sweet rice, kheer, yeah? Otherwise, maybe we will have difficulty, yeah? Also, we want to request all of you who come tomorrow morning for morning walk, yeah? Tomorrow is a day that all people will go to work, go to school. On that particular road, which you park your car, it is not allowed to park your car there. It will be a big problem because a lot of traffic is going there. So please park your car, anyone in the side lanes, 
Call in the morning walk, you're most welcome, but walk on one side. Don't walk on the whole road, otherwise police will come and it will be your last morning walk. <laughs> so right after the morning walk, we request all of you to come here, attend the class and respect breakfast prasadam here. Yeah, don't hang out at the house, we are very busy with initiations and everything. Well, this is right. We create too much pressure on the household. So please, after the morning walk, advance, uh, speed, carefully drive carefully to the <laughs> mandir here and be ready for Harikata. Who is giving class tomorrow morning? I don't know. Okay. Very bold. So just a few more announcements. Sripad Mahana Maharaj asked me a question which I didn't have a response for. So I, he asked me a question that so many devotees are assembled here. How many of them love Gurudev? So then he asked me the second question. Prove it. That how many of them would want Gurudev to come year after year for doing Harikatha festivals? Raise your hands. Anywhere in America. But in, if we come here, it must be in English. Yes. <laughs> Not everyone has raised their hands. How many of you want Gurudev to come year after year? Okay. So you know, and the third question Madha Maharaj had, that if you love Gurudev, and you want him to come year after year, you realize that it costs money to do all this. So how many have you re registered for the festival? Everyone? Where is Sushilji? <laughs> According to him, at least 150 or more devotees have not yet registered. How many have not registered? Okay, so something is wrong. <laughs> so, if you are honestly saying, then, uh, yes, in front of Gurudev, and Gurudev also told us to make a special announcement, he wanted to say it himself, but uh, based on yesterday's calculation, it seems close to about 200 devotees have not registered. I want that also registration their names. 11, uh, 17 dollars is not too much. I think all you can pay. So you must pay. Otherwise, how they will maintain the festival? Huh? So I request to you all, you should all pay. <laughs> I must assure you that this is by the kind donations of some generous devotees in Houston. The cost that we are charging is actually much less than what is it's costing. Uh, otherwise, it would have been much higher. So, what if registering is your contribution to arranging this festival? A few more announcements. Uh, many nice devotees had uh, committed for the new temple. We just want to request them. We have a donation commitment form. So, if you can please fill it out so that we have your names correctly. Uh, we don't make mistakes when we put your names on the plaques. And also we can contact you and keep you updated about the progress of the new construction. So I have these forms. They're also lying outside at the Gaudiyam at our uh, temple's booth. You can take these forms and please fill them out. Uh, there are a couple of devotees who are willing to share their rooms. Uh, we, if any female devotee is looking to share a room, we have a room available at Four Point Sheraton for the rest of the festival for $120. So please come and contact me. Similarly, if any male devotee is looking to share a room, we have a couple of uh, spots available. Please come and contact me. Uh, tomorrow, uh, there was a youth workshop today. It is going to continue tomorrow also. And in the temple premises from 10 to 1. And please don't take any food or drinks inside the temple hall. Uh, we are finding a lot of different things that devotees are losing. So if you have lost or found something, please go and give it at the registration table. Today we have found one bead bag in the ladies' room. And it just doesn't have beads, it has lots of money inside it also. So if anyone has lost it, please come and contact me. You have to tell me exactly what the amount is so I know it's, it's yours. Uh, for the morning walk, uh, apart from parking the car at the correct spot, we have noticed some devotees have been plucking flowers. 
Uh, we know that you want to offer them to Shiv Gurudev, but I've been requested by senior devotees that this creates a bad impression because when people see that you're plucking flowers from their uh, homes, they might come and complain. So you, there are a lot of stores around here. There are a lot of devotees here who have uh, flowers growing at their homes. You can request them, but please uh, do not pluck flowers uh, from people's homes uh, around where Gurudev is staying. We also need uh, help in the kitchen. The ladies are cooking. Uh, but they need help picking up the pots, they are heavy, so any brahmacharis, anyone, able-bodied men can please go and help the ladies in the kitchen. Uh, we have, uh, there was a set of deities who are found here, it seems like either uh, someone has forgotten them or just abandoned them. Uh, there are two sets of Gornitai deities and one set of Jagannath Baldev Subhadra deities. So the deities are with Ramaditi, is she here? Ramadidi, Ramadasi from Alachua. So you can contact her and get these uh, uh, set of deities. Uh, just quickly, tomorrow's program. Uh,